Hi guys, happy Friday. I couldn't remember what day it was for a second. There's Megan in the background over there and I thought it'd be fun if I did a quick Sephora haul for you guys because I went into Sephora today just to pick up new eyebrow stuff but then I got an order from Sephora.com at my house. So I have some Sephora stuff so let's get into it. Um, this is not what I ordered as far as samples. That's what they substituted. Fragrance sample fragrance sample. We won't go into them too much, but the third one was supposed to be a fragrance sample too, and it was not. And first we'll do the boring stuff. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Soft Brown. We used to carry this at my store, but we don't anymore, so I don't get a discount on it anymore. And it's the color that matches my brows best. I've tried NYX. I've tried Smashbox. This is what works best. So I got that. The other thing... I bought that's more practical than anything is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Anastasia, I don't know how we're supposed to say it, clear brow gel. Um, this is to hold down said brows after I draw them on my face. Yeah, also really good stuff. Then I have more fun stuff. Um, this was the mobile offer that I redeemed. This is actually kind of neat. This is by a Korean company that I've never heard of before, and it's called Touch in Soul Metalist Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duo. So in here you have a little pot of glitter, and then this is liquid foil, non-creasing cream shadow. Okay, so it's a cream shadow in here, or in here, I don't know. One is a glitter. I can't tell which is which, you guys. I guess this is the glitter shadow, and this is the liquid foil. I'm, I'm so confused. I would think it'd be the other way around. But anyway, this is in number four, Adelio. Looks cool. Came for free, so I'm excited about that. I want the other one also, but I can't think of a reason to make another Sephora order. So I'm probably not going to get the other one, um, but if it's good stuff and they start selling it at Sephora, then I guess I can buy it. Next I have, um, this is a random one for me. This is the NARS eyeshadow in Outer Limits. And I don't really own a lot of NARS products except for a couple lipsticks. Um, their eyeshadows and blushes are not really my favorite favorite. Not to hate or anything, but this one was a limited edition shadow that came out last year and it sold out super fast and they brought it back this year. So it's just in the standard NARS packaging and it is a peachy eyeshadow with some goldish pink duochrome glitter in there. It's super pretty. Um, it mostly shows up just as glitter. It's really chunky feeling and I did swatch it in the store. I knew all of this before I bought it. But there's a part of my brain that's like you need it. You have to buy it. Just get it. So I got it because it's pretty and it looks like that. And it probably could be used as a highlight too. It would definitely be pretty as an inner corner or over the lid. So it came home with me because I have no self-control whatsoever, apparently. But it is a pretty eyeshadow, so that's that one. And then, I think this is it. I don't think I went that hard. I think really it was about, yeah, okay, the rest is just fluff. This is also from the website. This is the Tarte Tartist uh, Lip Contour Set, and it comes with a deluxe-sized, well, that's smaller than I thought it would be mini. Let's call it a mini. This is not even a deluxe. Uh, this is in the shade, it's from the shade Go Fuck Yourself. We're not giving you anything. I don't know. Um, it is TBT and the pencil is called Latergram. That is super narrow and tiny. It reminds me of like one of those cigarettes that like aunties smoke and stuff. Okay, so here's the pencil in later gram. That's a nice color. It's very mauvey. It looks like everything else I own. And here is, what did I say this was called? TBT? TBT. So here is the Tardist Matte Lip Cream, I think it's called. I don't know. So that's pretty. They're just like both very mauvey. They look very similar. I like them. Those are so itty bitty. And the very last thing I have here, like I said, this wasn't a very big haul. This is one of the Tarte Tartist metallic eyeshadows. This is in the color Dame. There's an awful lot of packaging for just a little shadow. The shadows are $14 and then the pan is like completely metallic and pops right out of here, which is a pretty cool feature. But um, I don't know, the back of the pan isn't labeled. So while you can take it out, you 
put it in Z palette, you wouldn't know what it was. And this is just a metallic rose gold. They had a bunch of other shadows in the line, but I thought I'd better just buy one and see if I thought it was good. So it is a really good formula. It's very opaque, very um, pretty, very metallic. And I approve. So that is my small Sephora haul. Like I said, I didn't get too much, but just a couple little fun things. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. I love you so much. I thank you all for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks for the thumbs, Megan. Bye!